is the treatment for wet macular degeneration. There is a particular chemical that the body produces called vascular endothelial growth factor, or VEGF for short, which in health helps regulate the blood supply of the body. In wet macular degeneration, however, abnormal production of this VEGF molecule helps produce these abnormal blood vessels that grow into and leak into the retina. Most treatments for wet macular degeneration now involves injecting a drug called an anti-VEGF agent that prevents the bad effects of VEGF in the eye and can cause the abnormal blood vessels to stop leaking and as a result the swelling reduces and so vision can improve or certainly be prevented from getting worse. There are several drugs available to use and they are all very similar in their effect on the retina. These anti-VEGF drugs are proteins and if given in tablet form would be digested by the stomach so they have to be given by a direct injection into the main eye cavity called the vitreous cavity where they can then get into the retina and have their beneficial effect. The injection itself is with a very fine needle having given some anaesthetic drops to the surface of the eye and although it may sound quite a dramatic thing to do it is in fact a very easy and quick thing to do with minimal discomfort in an outpatient setting. The risks associated with the injections are very low, with a very slight risk of infection or damage to the retina or lens inside the eye. The main problem, however, with these injections is that this particular form of treatment has only a relatively short-lived effect and several injections are needed. Most eye doctors, when treating wet macular degeneration, give an initial course of three injections, one a month over a three-month period. What happens after this period uh, it depends very much on how the condition responds and the individual eye doctor's uh, way of treating the wet macular degeneration. But with most patients with this condition, they do need top-up injections from time to time and sometimes indefinitely. The monitoring of how you respond to these injections is very dependent on a particular machine called the Optical Coherence Tomographer, or OCT for short which is a laser imaging machine that takes a very accurate picture of the layers of the retina and in particular is good at looking at swelling of the retina, sometimes called retinal edema or macular edema, which is characteristic of this condition. And the need for top-up injections is often dependent on whether swelling or edema has been noted on the OCT machine and patients having uh, injections are regularly monitored with an OCT. You can also monitor the situation yourself with a test called an AMSA chart, which is a chart made of, up of straight lines that make up squares with a dot in the centre of the chart. And these charts can be down, downloaded from the internet. You need to look at the central dot in the chart, one eye at a time, with your reading glasses on. And if there is a change in the appearance of the chart, with lines becoming distorted or the squares appearing blurred, there is a good chance that the retina has some swelling to account for it and in need of some treatment. Mm -hmm.